Derek Chisora, we're here. Uh, the big fight's been announced July 26th, Tyson Fury. That means you're one fight away from an another shot at the world title. You must be very uh, committed and excited. Yeah, as I said, you know, we're jumping hurdles. We're looking forward to, uh, to this fight. Uh, now it's on, we're excited. Four and five months away, and it'll be on in the summer. Phones for you, Arena. You know, uh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, things are going well for me right now. It's a big year for me. Uh, I'm less excited. Now, Tyson Fury's got a great record. He's a big lad. Uh, it all looks good on paper. But um, you've been in the ring with some serious, serious fighters over the years, and uh, all the, the talk is you're better now than you've ever been. So. You may have a couple of, uh, well, four losses to your record, but you've got that experience, haven't you, which he hasn't? Yeah, I've got that experience, which is 100%. You know, as we say, it's all it's a piece of paper, you know. I already said to Frank, you know, if, uh, if, if, you were, if I was a different guy, you'd have been giving me cab drivers to box. And then uh, I haven't, I haven't uh, had cab drivers to box. So that I was, I'm, I'm a fighter. I like to fight. I like to fight whoever's in front of me, and I like to push them and knock them out. And right now, Tyson Fury is in front of me, and this time it's going to be a great fight, a better fight than the first one. Well, yeah, you did fight a few years ago, but uh, I would suggest you're both probably better now than you were then. Yeah. Right now, um, I'm more better right now than he's much better. My body athlete, he's in, he's in great shape. We're going to push for it. Yeah. I mean, it's not good news for whoever loses, isn't it? I mean, it's such a big fight. For the winner, it's a chance at the world title. For the loser, it's a lot of it's a backward step. It's a backward step. He's gonna have in his mind he don't want to lose, you know, and that's gonna be taking more focus. I've already lost four fights, and I know how to fight and how to win a fight. Yeah. Um, now he will probably think if he's gonna win, he's gonna try and knock you out early on. You're a very durable fighter. You don't get knocked down very easily. Um, a lot of people would probably say, if he wins, it's going to be early. If you win, it's going to be later. Do you necessarily see it that way? The longer the fight goes on, the better it is for you? Better for me, yeah. He's going to gas out. 100% he's going to gas out. So he's going to clearly try and KO you as early as possible. But do you think if he gets to sort of five, six, seven, the longer it goes on, the better the odds for you? That's what he's going to try and do. We're going to push him. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. So what's the game plan between now and July? It's quite a long way off, isn't it? Game plan right now, I guess, sit down with all the schmucks in front of me, in front of you right now, come up with a great, great idea and see how it goes. Yeah, very confident. You, persistence is a great virtue in life, isn't it? You knocked on the door a few times. You, you did so well against Vitali, didn't you, for the world title? Do you feel as if uh, eventually it comes your way if you stick at it? You know, keep going. No, you don't stop. You know, it takes a margin. To, if you stop a margin, you lose your goal. Keep going, you'll be rich. Are you going to let him get to you? I mean, uh, Carl nah, Fosch, can't get Carl to Fosch me. told me uh, last week, he admitted that uh, George Groves got to him with all the talk. Uh, Tyson certainly knows how to talk. You seem pretty cool up there. Are you going to make sure you stay I'm cool? cool, man. Listen, I am, uh, I am cool. I'm not bothering me. I'm just excited. All right. Good luck. Thank you.